Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little series that I'll be doing in which I will propose to you some free software that replaces paid software. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, do you have free software for this or for that? And uh, all of these are legal software, nothing pirated. I don't uh, like pirate software. I don't use pirated software. So here's the thing. The first video today is about Photoshop. So um, one of the questions I get often, is there a free Photoshop or is there something that can replace Photoshop uh, and that is powerful enough for what I want to do? So here's the thing. First of all, if you play with images that come from people that are Photoshopped, chances are you might be better off having Photoshop even though it's very expensive. Yet, for I would say the majority of people using um, picture editing, another piece of software will probably do the job fine and it's GIMP. So GIMP is a image manipula manipulation program. It is a Photoshop, but in a uh, open source program. So this is totally free. I'll be, of course, posting the link in the description below the video, GIMP.org. It is available for Mac, for Linux, and for Windows, which is also very nice. And basically, you download the latest version. Uh, right now, as we're making the video, it's 2.8.16. And once you've got that, you just load GIMP, which is this piece of software. Here we go. It accepts extensions. It accepts uh, pretty much everything. It can open Photoshop files, uh, but a little bit like you know software that are compatible. It not 100%. Sometimes there are things that might not show up. Um, correctly but for most people this is probably enough you've got everything you've got uh, you know filters you've got uh, all sorts of tools you've got of course layers you can add layers and transparencies and masks uh, you can transform images you can do pretty much almost the same things that you will do with Photoshop but with a free piece of software which is GIMP there are on the GIMP website some nice tutorials also on how to use GIMP and um, of course you can load an image you could do pretty much what you want so if I want I can say let's open let's go on uh, I'll go on my desktop uh, where would you have okay DX the cat under the tree this is my cat here we go it will ask you if you want to convert it somehow and here we go I've got a nice picture that I can play with and do whatever I want. So uh, basically, compatible to a certain point uh, with the original uh, Photoshop. So if you have some Photoshop pictures, it will probably open them in general. So GIMP, nice. If you don't share anything with people with Photoshop, if you're just looking for something to uh, that is powerful enough and that will help you uh, manipulate images, change images, and so on. GIMP, nice piece of software for that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos, and hopefully you will continue following us on this channel.